Hi everyone! Welcome back to Bake with Opal. I'm Chef Wendy, and today I'm going to show you how to make the classic pot brownie using Opal ready to roll flour. So, the first step to making our classic pot brownie is infusing the butter. We want to preheat our oven to 230 Fahrenheit. First thing we need to do to make our infused butter is decob our weed. And today, I'm gonna use the sativa ready to roll from Opal. For this recipe, you'll need about one gram of Opal ready to roll flour. Spread out your one gram of flour on a parchment paper and make sure it's really spread um, because you don't want your buds to be sticking together. Now that our oven's preheated, we wanna put our one gram of ready to roll flour in the oven to decarb it. And decarbing is really just a fancy way of saying activating the THC and infusing more magic into your pot brownies. The Opal Ready to Roll flour is super convenient for when you're cooking with weed. It's already ground up, you don't even need to grind anything, um, and it also um, comes with some paper so you can roll a joint while you're cooking. So let's talk about dosing for a second. Um, I know this could be very daunting and confusing, but a simple recipe that I like to use is a standard ratio of one cup of butter to one gram of flour. And then to calculate the potency of your infusion, you take the THC percentage, multiply it by 100, and that gives you the total milligrams of THC in your infusion. Simply put, if your THC is 20%, then your total infusion in your one cup of butter would be 200 milligrams. Oh, smells like a full cobbler in here. The next step is to take our flour and simmer it with one cup of butter. And after a 45 minute simmer, our butter is infused and we are ready to start baking. To prep our oven for the brownie, we're gonna crank up the heat to 380 degrees. So the first step is to make our ganache, and we start by pressing down on our fringe press to separate the butter from the cannabis. And then we will measure out half a cup of piping hot melted butter. Let this butter sit over the chocolate for about five to 10 minutes. Um, and what that's gonna do is melt the chocolate at the perfect temperature. We're gonna stir and whisk our butter and chocolate up really well until it's smooth. So now we're gonna add about a four teaspoon of salt to our ganache and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then stir both in. Now we have our finished ganache. We'll set it aside and bring a fresh bowl to start making our brownie batter. So here we have one cup of sugar and a fourth cup of brown sugar. Oh, <laughs> a fourth cup of brown sugar. And two large brown eggs at room temperature. Beat the shit out of the sugar and the egg. And what that's gonna do is really create a fluffiness um, for your brownie. So you wanna make sure you're doing it on high. Nice. You wanna beat it until it's nice, pale, white, and creamy. Um, that's gonna give our brownie the best consistency. Now that our batter is ready, we're gonna go ahead and add our ganache. Mm, our creamy ganache batter is ready. Our last final step is to add flour to it. And the trick here is that you wanna sift it so that it's evenly distributed and it doesn't clump up and you don't have to over mix. When you overmix brownie batters, it turns out kind of cakey, and you know, we love cake, but not right now. So just gently fold it in 
and stop as soon as you don't see flour anymore. Now to prepare our brownie pan, we're gonna use our leftover wheat butter, just a tiny little dollop. And what this is gonna do is help our parchment paper stick to the side and keep all of our batter within the pan. And then we do it again on top of the parchment. And what this is gonna do is help the brownie to not stick and also it's gonna give the brownie that nice crispy edge we all love. Now to put the brownie batter in the pan. Some thick ass bootylicious brownie batter. All right, you wanna give it one smooth spread so that it bakes super evenly. Now we're just gonna pop it in the oven for 20 minutes. All right, now after a 20 minute bake, our brownie's ready. And a little trick that I like to do is as soon as it comes out of the oven, just drop it and give it a big smack. And then you'll see that it's creating all these cracks that are gonna give you that really nice crunchy outside texture we like and a gooey, fudgy inside. So when you're cutting your brownie, you wanna just keep in mind of dosage. If you follow this recipe exactly, we have 100 milligrams of total THC here. And I'm gonna cut it into nine pieces. So that'll give you roughly a little over 10 milligrams each piece. And there you have it, your classic pot brownie infused with Old Pal flour. I'm Chef Wendy, see you next time on Baked with Old Pal.